Welcome to Ask Mr. Locksmith. Uh, I've been looking at my comments and I'm going to do uh, videos on uh, to answer the comments. I try to answer as many as I can some of the questions. Sometimes it's just easier just to do a video and say, look at the video. Uh, so this is Ask Mr. Locksmith. One of the questions I get all the time is, what is the best residential deadbolt? In my opinion, it's the slage, or let's say slage, slage, slagey, S-C-H-L-A-G-E, uh, the slage B-6-0-N. It's a fantastic deadbolt, especially if you get it, what they call the classic keyway, the SC-1 or the C keyway in classic. This is a great deadbolt. It's uh, for residential. You know, I have better deadbolts for what I like uh, for more heavy duty applications, but if you want something that's probably the best residential deadbolt, there's absolutely no comparison, and I'll put the side by side in another video. We'll have their uh, contenders like the Quick Set uh, and whatnot available at your local home hardware stores. But the Slage B60N, in my opinion, is one of the best deadbolts, dollar for dollar, out there. The quality is fantastic, and the, the key is great, the lock is great. This is not going to fall apart in uh, one to five years. This will be a lock that will be on your door for quite a, quite a number of years. Let's just see what we got here. Right off the bat, it's a six pin keyway. So this is the C keyway of the SC1. So this is right off the bat, six pin. Gee, that's pretty, pretty good out of the box. Resident, most residential are five pin. This is a six pin out of it. Let's see what we got here. So this will be, uh, now this has an interesting bolt. Let's pull the bolt out. The bolt is adjustable. Your most common from the edge of the door to the center hole is either two and three eighths or two and three quarters. And uh, one of the biggest calls I have at nighttime or even daytime is saying, I bought a new lock and it, it's too short. Well, just re you know, read the instructions or this one's quite simple, just, just twist it. Now, Occasionally we get the five inch back sets, and that's a topic for another video, but this is the most common, is two and three eighths, two and three quarters. Now what's really good with this one, it comes with a kit. So I can change the face plate here to fit, if, whether it's a drive-in, this is a rounded edge, right at the bat it'll do rounded edges, square, and drive-in. So I can just take off the little face plate here and change it to whatever I have. So the drive-in is just where they just drill a round hole, you know, put it in, uh, beveled edges, we're seeing a lot of uh, doors are come like this from the factory, and uh, the, the squared off. Now this is, this is a, such a simple uh, install. Don't throw this away. You know, these are three inch schools, screws. Go on the frame of the door, and you just put in these three inch screws, and it really, really makes the door harder to kick in. So uh, the frame harder to kick in, so your door usually gives way first. And we have lots of videos on how to secure your doors. Uh, but out of the box, three inch screws, nice plate. Uh, if you put this in, it should catch the stud, make, it, make the frame way, way harder to kick in. So it's got lots of options on this. So I'm quite impressed. It's not, not pickable, but it's, it's, it's such a good quality lock, it's extremely, it can be difficult to pick. When we go to if it's a wiser or quick set lock or laughing, we're just gonna we're gonna pick it in, in in less than two minutes usually, unless there's other problems. When you come across and you see the slate sign uh, on the, on the door, you're going ah okay, uh, I'm gonna have to hustle. Now the commercial grade stuff have um, this uses what they call the classic keyways. So this is a C keyway or an SC1, uh, and that's the residential versions. The commercial versions come with probably over a hundred different types of cylinders, ranging from the classic up to what they call the Everest uh, and up to the Primus. The Primus is their high security locks uh, that are uh, rated, real, real ratings is pick resistant. Uh, and even the plain uh, key that comes with it, they call the Everest, which is the C123 or the C129. Boy, those are hard to really pick. Uh, so I know we're talking about the best residential lock, so this is the B60N, and out of the box, it comes with a six pin. Now I've seen five pin on these, so this is unusual. So it's a six pin slage keyway, 
C or SC1 or Classic. Pretty simple, and it's got a spacer as well. So I'm just going to keep the, so we measure from the edge of the door. You can see this is, is that too short? Now we say, now th I think this says, this says on it, it says top. So we now have top. Some, sometimes you say Mickey Mouse ears. See the, there's the Mickey Mouse ears. But it says top, so we know this is top. But let's take a look at, see when this is too short? It's not going to go in. And this is such a common, uh, people call us with this problem, it's too short. So this is adjustable. Thanks, quick, easy. It even says top. There's a two and three quarters. Well, and stay tuned to the end. I'll, I'll show you a little bonus thing that they have. Now, the other problem have, people have when they install these, they go too crazy. They just crank these down, and just it just puts a bad twist on everything. Now, the other thing to make sure when you install your deadbolt that it always goes together perfect. This works for the good quality locks. The offshore stuff is, is another dog's breakfast. When you put it on, have the bolt with the door open, of course. Have the bolt out. Then, key out. Don't put the key in. The other problem people do is they put the key in. So, bolt out, key out, and then this goes together absolutely perfect every time. So you just put the tailpiece. Now this is a, what we call a lazy, a lazy tailpiece. See, it just turns a little bit. Don't play with anything on here. Some of the big problems we have is people start pulling these apart. Uh, watch other videos on how to rekey these. So the tailpiece just goes in perfect. Lock up. Remember, key out. Uh, the thumb turn. Now this is a single cylinder deadbolt. The thumb turn will go on. And usually, when this is aimed this way, it's locked. You can look at it from a distance. When it's aimed that way, it's unlocked. So just pull it back a little bit. Just put the screws in. And what you usually want to do is just start the screws. You, you can, these are uh, pretty good locks, so they're not going to cross thread easily. But just get it started, each side started. Just get it started. And then, again, we just want these snug. We don't want to crank them down. If you have a metal door, wood is, is a little bit better. Well, it's not better. It's just uh, less likely to... The big problem is on some of the metal doors, when you tighten these down really tight, it pulls the, 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 the metal in, and then this will bind. So you see this is absolutely perfect. We have, this, everything's running really good. Turns nicely, and if we use the key, check it before you lock yourself out, uh, and it's perfect. So, and make sure you take the key out. Lock it, take the key out. Then you know you're, it's locked. Lock, unlock it, take the key out. If that all works, the lock will be absolutely perfect. So why is this uh, the best residential? The quality is light years. And I'll do a comparison in another video coming up. I'll show you the other most, one of the most popular locks out there is the quick set deadbolt. Whether you get the pin tumbler, quick set, or the smart key, you'll see the difference in the quality. There's no comparison between the two. I like this for residential. Uh, even though I have the habit of more putting commercial on our residential cu customers, uh, this lock is a great lock uh, for the price. It's fantastic. It's got the tapered. It's extremely difficult to pick or bump. I shouldn't say extremely difficult. It's, it's not rated as pick resistant, so let's put it into reality here. Uh, most locks uh, are different ranges of being able to pick, but uh, this compared to a quick set uh, or other locks, this is going to be way tougher to pick. And if you ask a reputable locksmith, uh, they will say, if they're honest, that the slage, 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 slagey are difficult to pick. It's got a good quality one inch deadbolt, a good quality cylinder. Everything on this is very, very close to the commercial grade stuff. This is not going to fall apart in five years or even 10 years. This is going to be a good lock. One little side piece. If the lock, when it's opened, is working perfect with the key and with the lock, 
when you close the door, it sh try from the inside first. It should just be nice and smooth like this. If it's sticking, then you either have a strike. Usually it's the strike is out of whack or, um, or it could be the door frame. But usually, uh, sometimes you may have to adjust your, on the frame, you may have to adjust the strike. And if you look at my, uh, my favorite locksmith tool is the lipstick and you can see why. So watch that video. I'll put a link to it, why uh, this can help you if it's sticking. Once everything's perfect, when the door's open, the lock is perfect, you close the door and it's catching or it's not locking. And I'll show you how to fix that in our other video. Now as a side bonus, they also have, uh, the B60 is in a, uh, what we call Wiser Keyway or a W1. Uh, so it's not the quick set Keyway. So this is a thicker lock, thicker, key uh, than the wise than the quick set key uh, the kw1 so this is a, 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 a wiser they call it a falcon and in this case they have a five pin in here and it's the same bolt it's just the keyway is different so they put everything's the same except for they have a wiser key and I think that's the only two versions they come in. They come in um, the classic SE1, and they come in, they call it the Falcon, or the, I call it the Wiser. That's the most popular. Uh, not popular in the U.S., extremely popular in Canada, uh, is, the, uh, is the Wiser Keyway. So I think that's why they sort of came out with this one. It's okay. I'd rather have the, well, especially this. This is a six-pin uh, real slade cylinder, and then we have this uh, five pin wiser. I bet you that'd be extremely easy to pick. So between the two, uh, this one's gonna be really, gonna give us the run for the money. This one's gonna pick in under two minutes, and we'll have other videos on that. Why is uh, this the best residential deadbolt? It's good, it's good quality. It's uh, extremely good lock. I like it. Uh, I would install this on any, anybody who wants it. If they wanted a less expensive deadbolt, this is about as low as I will go. Uh, and this is extremely good quality. I don't like installing quick sets, residential, none of their residential uh, locks I like, zero. Uh, the Yale, eh, not that much better. Now we'll do a comparison. This is uh, the B60N. I'll grab some more of the, uh, this in the big box hardware stores. I'm gonna have a comparison. We'll pick up a bunch of them and we'll take a look. But this is the best residential deadbolt available at the moment. Please subscribe, put your comments below, uh, what you do, don't like, what you think is better, and I will respond. Uh, sometimes I, I, I try to respond online, but we're gonna start making a video response to a lot of the questions. So it's gonna be Ask Mr. Locksmith, please put your questions. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, visit my website and you can see what online locksmith training I have for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, as well as my covert methods of entry and my non-destructive methods of entry.